Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and welcome to another episode in our PC Masterclass series. Now today we're going to be looking at tidying up the clutter when it comes to applications and programs that start along with Windows automatically. Now you may have in the past heard this referred to as MS Config. Now while the name might have changed slightly, it's still pretty simple to actually do and enable or disable those particular applications and programs. So let's look at it. Many of the applications that you install on your PC, as well as the under the hood services that support them, are started automatically when you turn on your computer and load up Windows. In many cases, this is a good thing. Obviously, there are many essential services that you want up and running when you start your computer. Hardware controllers or antivirus software, for example. However, you will also find that many applications are automatically flagged to run on startup when they don't really need to be. Something like Spotify or Steam doesn't strictly need to open to run in the background every time you start Windows. You can open it with a single click as and when you need it. Having more programs than you actually need all boot up and run every time you start your computer is an unnecessary drain on your memory and other resources. And for this reason, it's recommended that from time to time you prune the startup list down to only the essentials. If you are a hardcore gamer and you specifically only use your computer for gaming, then you may want to leave something like Steam to start up with Windows because, well, you're only turning your computer on to play games. So how do you do this? Well, it's extremely simple. Click on your start menu search bar and type task manager and press enter. Alternatively, you can press the control, shift and escape keys to access the task manager directly. You can also simply right click on the start menu and go to task manager. There's various different ways of getting to this step. In the task manager, simply navigate to the startup tab to see what starts up with Windows. Right clicking on anything in the list gives you options to enable or disable this functionality. And the startup impact of each thing is shown for reference as well. So there you go, a nice, simple, easy to follow tutorial and something that could potentially speed up your computer startup time. Especially if you're using older hardware, you may find that obviously not having the likes of an SSD or solid state drive is just hindering that performance and it feels like it takes an absolute age just to get into Windows. Maybe tinker around in here and sort of see what performance results you can get. It's always worth just timing it, making some changes, timing it again you may actually be pleasantly surprised. So there you go. If this tutorial was really handy for you, remember to subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Give us a comment below and let us know, did this tutorial help you out? And do you wanna see more videos like this? Remember to smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.